Positional sensing adds a lot of dynamics and realism to a snare pad. For example, this DDT MS140. In this video, we'll take a look at setting up positional sensing inside the eDrum and Control application. And in a follow-up video, we'll take a look at setting up settings in programs like Superior Drummer or BFD. All right, so let's take a look at the positional sensing control. At the top, there's an on-off button to toggle positional sensing. In the middle, there's a black bar with a red indicator and a green rectangle. And at the bottom, there's a toggle to switch between CC mode and note mode. The part of the control that we're most interested in is the black bar with the green rectangle. The eDrum calculates the position of your hit and overlays that as the red indicator in that control. If that red indicator falls to the right of the green rectangle, the eDrum sends out position zero. If it falls to the left of the green rectangle, it sends out a position of 127. And if the indicator falls inside the green rectangle, it scales the position between 64 and 127. So to get positional sensing working well for your pad, all you need to do is to adjust the size of that green rectangle. To do that, start by hitting your pad in the center and moving out towards the edge. You're looking for the point where that red indicator jumps. That's about where I want to set the right side of that green rectangle. Now as I keep hitting out towards the edge, We'll watch how far the indicator moves to the left. And that's where I want to set the right side of that green rectangle. After you've done that, positional sensing should be working just fine inside the e-drumming. And the only settings you might need to change are in your drum sampler. 